Today we're going to learn a little bit more about the brush tool and the brush engine. I want you to, the idea today is experimentation. I want you to try a lot of different things. We're going to start out simple, like you should always start out when you're experimenting, and then move on to something more complicated. Now, a couple tricks. Letter B for brush tool. Letter B jumps not necessarily the brush tool, it jumps to the last tool in this stack that you used. Make sure that the brush tool is active and you're not using the history brush. You want to use the brush tool. So, letter V, move tool. Letter B, brush tool. All right, get used to looking at this control bar. Hey, look, it changes. I'm switching back and forth between the move tool and the brush tool. This bar is contextual. Get used to checking your mode. Make sure it's on normal unless you want a different blending mode. Check your opacity. Yesterday we were using low opacity. Photoshop remembers. I want high opacity. So I'm going to change this to 100. We can change our brush tip uh, itself or the size or the hardness right here. We can also get to this. I'm going to click to deselect, undo that um, by control clicking and pull up this panel. But even better than that, we can remember, change the size or the hardness on the fly by holding down control and option at the same time. So I want a hard brush about that size, not the 300 pixels in relation to my document. And my document size, it's the same size as my desktop. So this could be used as a desktop picture if the experiment works. All right, default colors. Hit the letter D for default colors. X to exchange colors. D for default. Got that? Um, great shortcuts. It's going to take time for you to, to get used to all this. Now, bringing up the brush engine. The brush engine is right here. It's right here. It might be in a different place on your control bar, but it's also under Window Brushes. And, oh, look at that. It popped out. And... If we close this up, you can see it pops out, and you can get to this in any number of ways. Now, I brought you here not to show you the brush tips, not to show you that you could change the size and the hardness and spacing. What's up with that? Spacing, 25. Well, let me show you something. If I just draw a line, look at how, what, why is it chunky like that? Well, it's chunky like that because of the spacing. If we change this down to one, what happens? We draw, we get a smoother line. It's still not perfect, but it's smoother. So Photoshop is actually dropping whatever shape we have over and over and over on to the document. Look at that. Think about what you could do with just the spacing right here. Oh my goodness. How did that turn white? Did you see that? Command delete. Look at your left side of your keyboard, left to spacebar. Option, command. Option delete fills with the foreground. Command delete fills with the background. Options to the left, foregrounds to the left, the backgrounds to the right, commands to the right. A way to remember that. How cool. Okay, so what about I want you to experiment with all this. I'm not going through all this in the color dynamics. I'll tell you right now, it's going to work with these two colors so we can get grays if we were working with black and white. If you're working with other colors, you get intermediate colors between those two. You can play with that. But what I want to get to right now is the shape dynamics and I want the size jitter. So I want a variety of sizes of whatever brush that I have chosen. And yes, 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 see all the other choices. And then I'm going to go to scattering. And I want to scatter these out so they drop kind of, I'm going to change it to both axes, so they drop in different areas. And you can change all this. You know, what does the count do? Uh, you know, it goes crazy rather quickly. So you can just move it up just a little just to see. You're going to expand experiment with this. Now I've got a black brush and a white background. If you have a white brush and a white background, you're not going to see much happening, right? So if I click, I get a circle. But I did got it 
somewhere other than where I clicked because remember our settings. But if I click and drag, I get a variety of size and shapes. If I change the size of my brush, make it larger, we get a little more variety. If I make it smaller, same thing happens. And then if I do something, if I change the size and do something tricky that you may not have noticed, I hit the letter X to exchange colors. Oh my goodness. Think about what you could do, what you could make just with these circles, just with black and white, just with these settings. And then think about using this on a mask. What would happen if you use this on a mask? What would happen if there were softer edges? What would happen if you use the color dynamics and you got grays as well as black and white? How would that affect your mask? How would that affect the image and any adjustments you made? I want you to experiment. And yeah, you can change the tip. You can do all kinds of crazy things. The only thing I don't want you to do is something silly like try to draw a face or a tree or a landscape because right now your skill sets, aren't, skill sets aren't there. You're not Bert Monroy. And if you Google Bert Monroy, M-O-N-R-O-Y, you will see who I mean. And uh, Bert Monroy is the guy who invented where is that? Do I have the default brushes? Well, there's a little leaf somewhere in the brush panel. And he invented that leaf back when he was alpha testing Photoshop because he wanted to draw a tree. And when you see what Bert Monray does, you'll understand that, oh, oh, okay, he really can draw trees. <laughs> and he did it with Photoshop, with no layers. Imagine that, no layers. Oh, layers. You could be dropping these things on. What happens if you drop it on a different layer? And then got the move tool, hit the letter V, and moved your shapes. You could move your elements. I have to actually click on one to be able to move it. Um, I could nudge them. See how they're moving, what I just drew? So you'd have a little more control. Just thinking, just thinking out loud. What could you do? Experiment, have some fun, and share your victories.